Hello, everybody. This is Dr. Alex Avila with Love University, and we're back. I'm an author, psychologist, and speaker. Every week, we talk about how to love ourselves, others, and a higher nature, how to improve our career, finances, relationships, health, and happiness. In our continuing series, we've been talking about how to be invincible, invincible you, how to achieve your maximum potential in every part of your life. Last week, we started talking about the desert of weakness, the part of your mind that is self-defeating, negative, and critical that holds you back. In the following series, we're going to talk about the different kinds of weaknesses, the different negative thoughts that attack you and want you to fail. And today's topic is what I call the rush weakness. The rush weakness is the relentless inner voice that compels you to run, rush, and chase to try to accomplish more than is realistically possible. It is the unforgiving taskmaster with a stopwatch, forever reminding you how much you have to do and how little time you have to do in it. Let's analyze your life right now. Consider your daily schedule and think of the many things you feel that you must pack into it to get done what needs to be done. In our technology-driven, fast-paced society, people expect quick answers and results. If you don't respond to someone quickly enough, they may be irritated or upset. They want you to rush to meet their timelines no matter what. With the rush weakness pressuring you to move quickly, it often seems that time becomes your enemy and you cannot defeat it. The irony is that the more you rush, the more mistakes you make that you later have to correct. So you actually slow yourself down. For example, if you speed up and get into an accident, you're not going to get to your destination on time and you're also going to suffer other consequences. If you cut corners and try to rush a relationship or financial situation, chances are it will go badly and you have to start over again with a new person or new investment. How do you get away from the rush mentality? You need to develop the mind of patience. That is the antidote. That is a, the cure to rushing, the mind of patience. The mind of patience tells you that there's always enough time to do what needs to be done. It is a mindset of relaxation, purpose, and focus. With the mind of patience, you take your time to do things right. And that ends up saving you time in the long run because you don't have to backtrack and fix your errors. Now, we need to make an important distinction here when we talk about the mind of patience and the rush weakness. The distinction is between acting quickly and decisively and rushing. Someone who rushes is caught up in an emotional tidal wave of fear, worry, and anxiety. Fear is what motivates them to rush. They're so concerned about not having enough time to do something that they often end up acting impulsively and making mistakes. On the other hand, a quick acting and decisive person knows exactly what they need to do. For example, an experienced first responder can react to a crisis with a relatively calm and proactive demeanor. They act quickly because they're not dominated by fear and anxiety. They know they have a job to do and they can do it efficiently and quickly. In the same way, a person with a mind of patience recognizes the importance of deadlines and timeliness. A mother may pick up her child from school at a certain time and she's always there. But she's not a slave to the emotional reactions of fear and worry about not having enough time. She does what needs to be done. People who have the mind of patience are responsible on time and in control because the rush weakness doesn't dominate their mind. Now, here's an interesting way to improve your mind of patience when you're tempted to be impatient and rush around. I call this exercise, choose the longer line. Now, I tell this to people and sometimes it's hard for them to believe that they can do this, but this can definitely work, this exercise. The truth is that many people hate to wait. And one of the worst things that people hate is standing along on a long line at a store. But the reality is that it's not the amount of time that you have to wait that is a problem. It's the way your rush-dominated mind adds a sense of impatience, discomfort, and urgency to the waiting situation. While the waiting by itself can be a neutral experience, the rush weakness will make you dislike every minute of waiting in that line. So to counteract that tendency toward impatience and the urge to rush, do this exercise. Intentionally choose a longer line at a store or any place where you have to wait. Let's say you're at a store or market. And you see a shorter line and a longer line. Now, most people would be inclined to go to the shorter line because they can finish quicker and go home sooner. But you're going to do the opposite. You're going to stay in the longer line. You're going to choose the longer line. Now, when you do this, the rush weakness will attack you and say, wait a minute, you're being foolish. Why are you slowing down your progress? Let's get out of here. But when you choose the longer line, you're telling the rush weakness to shut up. Despite its incessant jabbering, you're deciding to exercise your patience muscles. Think of patience like a muscle that you can work on to become stronger. When you decide to stay in the longer line, you're increasing your capacity to wait peacefully and patiently and in a relaxed manner, regardless of how impatient people are around you. Also, there are other benefits to waiting in line. You can observe your environment and fine-tune the skill of awareness. You can be aware of your thoughts and feelings and perhaps gain insight about life and patience as you stand there. You can also look at other people and see how miserable they are when they suffer under the pressures of the rush weakness. They stand there impatiently, wringing their hands, shifting nervously, and complaining about how slow the line is and how many important things they have to do. When you see how much they suffer from the rush mentality, you can decide to be different. You can enjoy a more relaxed pace of life. So defeating the, the rush weakness with the mind of patience is a very important concept. The problem is that many people in our society are in a rush to obtain wealth, material prizes, love, success, approval, and contentment. 
But by rushing with the mind of patience, they often push themselves further away from their goals. Impatience actually weakens their resolve, tempts them into making mistakes, and brings frustration and fertility into their minds. It makes them chastise or attack themselves because they aren't making enough progress in their lives. Although it may sound counterintuitive, always keep in mind that the faster way, rushing, is often the slower way. And the slower way, patience, is usually the faster way. When you rush, you slow yourself down because you often have to go back to correct the mistakes you made by rushing. But with the mind of patience, you actually obtain faster results because your mind is not distracted by the fear of failure, by the fear of not accomplishing everything you need to do in the limited time you have. When you have fewer emotional distractions and less turmoil, your mind is more focused and precise. You make fewer mistakes and you achieve better and faster results. When you have the mind of patience instead of fear, you have faith that everything will turn out fine. With faith, you learn how to wait even when you face the most seemingly difficult and frustrating situations. When people and circumstances appear to be against you, conspire against you, when you have failures and setbacks, when nothing goes your way, you will wait because you know that your higher nature, whether it's God, spirit, or reality, will bring you everything you need in due time. All you have to do is wait for the right people and situations to come into your life. By activating your mind of patience, you will have more energy and motivation to persist at your goals. If at first you don't receive that relationship, career, or financial success, you will keep working towards your goal with a mind of patience. When you're tempted to rush and get things done faster, you will remind yourself of the saying, the longer the wait, the better the prize. You know that there is always something better in store for you if you keep working toward your desires. Never again will you allow the rush weakness to force you into an unwinnable race. Patience will become your sword and you will rush no more. So think about it, love university students. If you're able to maintain the mind of patience, you can accomplish amazing things. You will have more concentration, more focus, more motivation. You will not get down on yourself and attack yourself for your mistakes because you will take your time to do things right. And even if you do make a mistake, you will learn from them. You will apply them to future accomplishments. So love university students, go out this week and decide that you will choose the longer line. Even if it feels uncomfortable or even weird at first, you will do it because you want to gain mastery over your impatience, over your rushing mindset. You want to have the mind of patience. You may talk to someone in the line, maybe make a new friend or business contact. You may observe yourself and see how you react to other people. And of course, see other people and see how they react in impatience, how they seem nervous, uptight, and tense. But you will be different. You will be more relaxed. You will be patient. You will be able to accomplish more in less time because you take your time to do things the right way. So love your Russian students. If you want to be on the show, have a show question, or want to talk about today's show, you can reach us at loveuniversity.love, loveuniversitylove at gmail.com. Call us at 310-226-8090. You can also subscribe to us on Podbean, Spotify, SoundCloud, and iTunes, and like us on Facebook at Love University Podcast. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Love Letter U Podcast. Also, if you want to get, pick up a copy of the book, Invincible You, Discover Your Inner Power and Achieve Your Heart's Desires, go to Amazon.com, BarnesandNobles.com for your copy. And this book, I believe, will help change your life for the better, will transform you from a person who may have been self-defeating to someone who masters your inner mind and is able to achieve invincibility in every part of your life despite the circumstances. Love University students, now it's time to put away your notebooks, your iPads, your phones, and we'll see you next time. This is Dr. Alex Avila with Love University.